the eye in the sky. Chapter 1 Celestial Encounter In the vastness of the cosmos, where the tapestry of stars wove tales of ancient mysteries, Captain Alex Mercer found himself on the brink of an extraordinary celestial encounter. The year was 2045, a time when humanity, with its insatiable thirst for exploration, had expanded its reach beyond the boundaries of the known solar system. Captain Mercer, a seasoned astronaut with a reputation for his unyielding determination and insatiable curiosity, stood at the helm of the stellar Voyager, humanity's most advanced spacecraft. His mission, to deploy a new generation of satellites designed to unravel the cosmic enigmas that shrouded the universe. As the stellar Voyager soared through the cosmic ocean, Mercer marveled at the infinite expanse that stretched before him. He had spent decades exploring the reaches of space, but this mission held the promise of something different, something that whispered of secrets concealed within the celestial tapestry. With their cutting-edge sensors and communication arrays, the satellites held the key to solving the mysteries that had baffled civilization for ages. Mercer's team of highly skilled scientists and engineers put in endless effort to make sure the trip was successful since they knew the information gathered would fundamentally alter how humanity saw the universe. One fateful night, bathed in the soft glow of distant stars, Mercer initiated the deployment sequence. The satellites, sleek and gleaming in the cosmic radiance, dispersed into the void like seeds cast by the cosmic gardener. Their mission, to capture the whispers of the universe, to decode the secrets encrypted in the cosmic frequencies. As the data began to stream in, Mercer, seated in the command center of the stellar Voyager, observed the cosmic ballet unfolding on the screens before him. It was then that anomalies registered on the sensors, subtle ripples in the fabric of space that hinted at something beyond the grasp of human understanding. The readings were anomalous, elusive, and provocative. Mercer, ever the intrepid explorer, felt the spark of curiosity ignite within him. He leaned forward, his eyes fixed on the screens that displayed the celestial anomalies. What began as a routine mission now held the promise of unraveling the cosmic mysteries that had teased humanity's imagination for millennia. As Mercer delved into the intricate dance of cosmic energies, he noticed patterns emerging from the chaos of the unknown. Unidentified celestial objects, their luminous trails weaving through the cosmic expanse, seemed to defy the laws of physics. It was a dance of the unknown, a celestial choreography that beckoned Mercer to become a witness to the cosmic spectacle. Intrigued by the inexplicable nature of these phenomena, Mercer redirected the satellite's focus toward these cosmic anomalies. The celestial objects, now captured in unprecedented detail, revealed a mesmerizing array of shapes and colors. They darted through the void with a grace that suggested intelligence beyond the scope of human comprehension. The command center buzzed with anticipation as Mercer and his team analyzed the data. The unidentified objects, now playfully dubbed celestial navigators, beckoned Mercer to chart a course into the unknown. What began as a routine mission had evolved into a cosmic odyssey, a journey that would challenge the very foundations of human understanding and redefine the boundaries of exploration. As Mercer contemplated the enigmatic dance of the celestial navigators, he knew that humanity stood on the precipice of a revelation, an unveiling that would reshape the narrative of its place in the cosmos. 
The journey into the celestial unknown had just begun, and Captain Mercer, fueled by an insatiable thirst for discovery, was poised to become the harbinger of revelations that transcended the limits of earthly imagination. Chapter 2 Shadows of the Galactic Alliance the stellar voyager sailed through the cosmic currents, its trajectory adjusted to intercept the ethereal dance of the celestial navigators. The crew, a diverse group of scientists, engineers, and astrobiologists, gathered in the command center, their faces illuminated by the soft glow of the cosmic tapestry displayed on the myriad screens. As Captain Mercer navigated the spacecraft through the celestial choreography, the celestial navigators responded with a dance of light and color. Their luminous trails crisscrossed the cosmic canvas, leaving an indelible mark on the sensors. The crew marveled at the beauty of the celestial symphony unfolding before them, a symphony that resonated with the promise of discovery and the allure of the unknown. Dr. Elena Rodriguez, the lead astrobiologist, was among the first to detect cell patterns in the celestial navigator's movements. Her keen scientific mind deciphered the cosmic language hidden within the dance. As she analyzed the data, a realization dawned, the navigator's movements were not random, they formed an intricate celestial sonnet, a symphony of light and energy. Excitement rippled through the crew as they witnessed the emergence of this celestial symphony. The once enigmatic dance now revealed a purposeful elegance, a communication that transcended the boundaries of conventional understanding. It was as if the navigators spoke in a language older than time itself, and this stellar voyager had become an unwitting audience to their cosmic performance. Mercer Ever the explorer, guided the spacecraft closer to the heart of the celestial spectacle. The navigators responded with an orchestrated display, their luminous forms swirling around the stellar voyager like ethereal companions. The crew, entranced by the celestial ballet, realized that they were not mere observers, they were participants in a cosmic conversation that echoed through the vastness of space. As the spacecraft ventured deeper into the celestial symphony, Rodriguez identified recurring motifs in the navigator's movements. The patterns, encoded in the fluctuations of cosmic energy, hinted at a shared cosmic history, a narrative etched into the fabric of the universe itself. The crew, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, sought to unravel the mysteries encoded in the celestial sonnet. The onboard instruments, enhanced by the latest advancements in quantum computing, analyzed the symphony's intricate notes. Each navigator, a luminescent note in the cosmic score, contributed to the harmonious melody that enveloped the spacecraft. Mercer, his eyes fixed on the celestial display, felt a profound connection to the celestial entities, a connection that transcended the boundaries of human understanding. The crew's collaboration intensified as they synchronized their efforts to decipher the celestial symphony. The astrophysicists, guided by the nuances of cosmic harmonics, formulated hypotheses that bridged the gap between the known and the enigmatic. The engineers, tasked with fine-tuning the sensors, endeavored to capture every nuance of the navigator's dance. As the stellar voyager delved deeper into the cosmic sonnet, the crew realized that the navigators communicated not only through light and energy but also through resonances that echoed across the electromagnetic spectrum. The spacecraft became a beacon of human curiosity, a vessel traversing the celestial staves of an ancient composition. Rodriguez, her eyes reflecting the spark of revelation, address the crew. The celestial navigators are not mere cosmic wanderers. 
They are custodians of a celestial knowledge that predates our understanding of the universe. The symphony they weave is a testament to the interconnectedness of all cosmic entities, a universal language that beckons us to explore the depths of our existence. Emboldened by this revelation, Mercer steered the stellar voyager toward a celestial nexus, an intersection of energies where the navigators congregated. The crew, united by a shared sense of awe and purpose, prepared to witness the climax of the celestial symphony. As the spacecraft approached the nexus, the navigators intensified their luminous display, creating a crescendo of cosmic brilliance. The crew, bathed in the celestial radiance, felt a harmonious resonance that transcended the boundaries of the material world. It was a moment of profound communion, an exchange between humanity and the celestial entities that span the epochs of cosmic history. In the heart of the celestial nexus, surrounded by the radiant dance of the navigators, Mercer and the crew stood on the threshold of a revelation that would reshape the destiny of humanity. The Celestial Symphony, an ancient composition written in the language of light and energy, echoed through the cosmos, inviting humanity to partake in the cosmic dialogue that unfolded beyond the veil of the unknown. Chapter 3 the Nexus of Enlightenment The celestial nexus, a convergence of cosmic energies, pulsed with an otherworldly glow as the stellar voyager entered its hallowed expanse. Captain Mercer and the crew, their senses heightened by the celestial symphony, felt the palpable anticipation of standing on the precipice of cosmic revelation. As the spacecraft navigated the intricate web of energies within the nexus, the crew observed the celestial navigators orchestrating a kaleidoscopic display. Streams of radiant energy intertwined, forming intricate patterns that seemed to defy the laws of physics. Dr. Rodriguez, her eyes gleaming with scientific curiosity, scrutinized the celestial ballet, seeking to unravel the secrets encoded within the pulsating light. The Nexus, bathed in a spectrum of iridescent hues, held the promise of enlightenment. Mercer, his hand on the controls, guided the stellar voyager with a steady resolve, inching closer to the heart of the celestial convergence. The crew, fueled by a shared sense of purpose, prepared to probe the depths of the Nexus in pursuit of cosmic truths. In the midst of the celestial dance, Rodriguez detected fluctuations in the energy patterns, a subtle language woven into the fabric of the Nexus. It was as if the navigators communicated not only through visible light, but also through frequencies that transcended the conventional understanding of the electromagnetic spectrum. The crew, driven by the thirst for knowledge, calibrated the onboard instruments to capture these elusive signals. The Nexus, a cosmic crucible of energies, held a resonance that echoed through the corridors of the stellar voyager. The crew, attuned to the cosmic frequencies, felt a subtle vibration that seemed to harmonize with the very essence of their beings. Mercer, his gaze fixed on the celestial panorama, contemplated the profound connection between humanity and the enigmatic entities guiding them through the cosmic odyssey. As the spacecraft approached the Nexus's epicenter, the crew witnessed a crescendo of cosmic energies converging into a focal point, a celestial nexus within the Nexus. It pulsed with a radiant intensity, beckoning the crew to unveil the mysteries concealed within its luminous core. Mercer, inspired by an innate sense of wonder, prepared to steer the spacecraft into the heart of the cosmic revelation. Rodriguez, interpreting the celestial signals, theorized that the Nexus served as a repository of cosmic knowledge, a living archive that chronicled the eons of the universe's existence. The crew, 
united by the pursuit of enlightenment, eagerly awaited the moment when they would breach the cosmic veil and commune with the navigators at the Nexus's epicenter. As the stellar voyager entered the radiant core, the crew experienced a profound shift in perception. Reality itself seemed to warp and bend, transcending the boundaries of space and time. The celestial energies enveloped them, and the crew felt an ethereal presence, an amalgamation of cosmic intelligences that whispered the secrets of the universe. The nexus of enlightenment revealed its cosmic archives, a holographic tapestry that unfolded before the crew's eyes. The navigators, luminous entities of wisdom, projected visions of cosmic epochs, celestial cataclysms, and the birth of galaxies. The crew, immersed in the celestial chronicles, bore witness to the cosmic ballet that shaped the very fabric of reality. Rodriguez, her scientific mind aglow with revelation, exclaimed, We're not merely observers, we are participants in the cosmic narrative. The Nexus is a living testament to the interconnectedness of all things, a repository of universal knowledge that transcends the confines of our understanding. Mercer, humbled by the cosmic communion, addressed the crew. We stand at the nexus of enlightenment, where the threads of our existence intertwine with the cosmic tapestry. The navigators have shared their cosmic wisdom with us, inviting us to embrace the vastness of the unknown. Let us carry this enlightenment back to our world and illuminate the path toward a future shaped by the harmonies of the cosmos. As the stellar voyager gradually navigated out of the nexus, the crew carried with them the echoes of the celestial symphony and the revelations of the cosmic archives. The spacecraft, now a vessel of enlightened explorers, set course for Earth, propelled by the collective spirit of discovery that transcended the boundaries of the known and ventured into the realms of cosmic possibility. The celestial nexus, a beacon of cosmic wisdom, faded into the cosmic expanse, leaving the crew forever changed by the nexus of enlightenment that had unfolded within its luminous embrace. Chapter 4 Echoes of the Celestial Odyssey as the stellar voyager glided away from the celestial nexus, the crew found themselves suspended between the celestial embrace of the nexus and the vastness of the cosmic void. The revelations imprinted on their consciousness lingered like stardust, creating an ethereal connection that transcended the confines of their earthly existence. Captain Mercer, his eyes reflecting the cosmic radiance he had witnessed, guided the spacecraft with a newfound sense of purpose. The celestial energy infused within the crew pulsed like a cosmic heartbeat, resonating with the rhythm of the universe itself. They were now custodians of the cosmic knowledge bestowed upon them by the celestial navigators. As the spacecraft traversed the interstellar expanse, the crew gathered in the common area, still awestruck by the profound communion with the celestial intelligences. Dr. Rodriguez, her mind a tapestry woven with cosmic revelations, initiated a discussion to synthesize the experiences that had unfolded within the celestial nexus. The nexus was more than a convergence of energies, it was a nexus of consciousness, a celestial hub where the collective wisdom of the cosmos intersected with our human understanding, Rodriguez articulated, her words carrying the weight of cosmic insight. Lieutenant Chen, the astrophysicist, added, the nexus served as a conduit, bridging the gap between our terrestrial knowledge and the cosmic archives. It was as if the navigators granted us access to the cosmic library, allowing us to glimpse the chapters of existence written in the language of stars. Commander Martinez, his eyes reflecting a blend of contemplation and awe, spoke, 
we must consider the implications of what we've experienced. The cosmic revelations could reshape our understanding of the universe, offering insights that transcend the boundaries of contemporary science and philosophy. As the crew engaged in a profound exchange of ideas, the spacecraft's onboard systems detected anomalous cosmic phenomena on the navigational instruments. Strange fluctuations in the fabric of space-time hinted at the possibility of an interstellar anomaly, an enigma that beckoned the stellar voyager into uncharted cosmic territories. Mercer, attuned to the cosmic pulse, decided to investigate the anomaly. The crew, now a fellowship bound by celestial wisdom, prepared for a cosmic odyssey beyond the boundaries of the known universe. The celestial nexus had been a threshold, and the journey ahead promised further revelations in the unexplored realms of the cosmos. Using the cosmic energy taken from the nexus, the stellar voyager shot ahead. With a shared goal of achieving enlightenment, the crew prepared for what lay ahead. The anomaly appeared to them like a cosmic portal, a mysterious cosmic enigma. As the spacecraft entered the anomaly, reality rippled and contorted, and the crew found themselves traversing a kaleidoscopic tunnel of cosmic energies. The celestial colors danced around them, and the spacecraft hurtled through the cosmic kaleidoscope, transcending the boundaries of space and time. Within the anomaly, the crew glimpsed celestial landscapes that defied terrestrial imagination. Nebulous clouds of iridescent hues swirled, giving birth to star clusters and galaxies. Ethereal beings, manifestations of cosmic intelligence, emerged from the celestial tapestry, observing the stellar voyager with benevolent gazes that transcended the limitations of physical form. Rodriguez, her scientific curiosity aflame, studied the cosmic phenomena. This anomaly is a gateway to uncharted realms, where the laws of physics as we understand them may undergo profound transformations. It's a cosmic canvas on which the universe paints its most intricate masterpieces. The crew, now travelers in the cosmic sea, felt the ebb and flow of cosmic energies guiding them through the anomaly. The spacecraft, no longer bound by the constraints of conventional space travel, sailed through the celestial currents, propelled by the very forces that shaped the cosmos. As the stellar voyager ventured deeper into the anomaly, the crew became attuned to the symphony of cosmic vibrations. The celestial intelligences, ever present within the cosmic currents, communicated through resonances that transcended verbal language. The crew, their minds expanding beyond terrestrial limitations, understood the cosmic dialogue that unfolded within the anomaly. Commander Martinez, his gaze fixed on the cosmic panorama, remarked, We are witnesses to the cosmic symphony, participants in the dance of celestial energies. This anomaly is a threshold to the unknown, and we have become voyagers of the cosmic continuum. The spacecraft, guided by the cosmic currents, approached a celestial nexus within the anomaly, a convergence of energies akin to the one they had experienced before. The crew, now seasoned cosmic explorers, prepared to receive further revelations from the celestial intelligences that guarded the secrets of the cosmos. As the stellar voyager entered the celestial nexus, the crew found themselves bathed in the luminous embrace of cosmic energies. The navigators, spectral entities of celestial wisdom, projected visions that transcended the boundaries of human perception. The crew, their minds expanded by the cosmic odyssey, glimpsed the cosmic threads that wove the fabric of existence. The celestial intelligences, 
their forms ever-changing, commune with the crew in a language beyond words. The revelations echo in the minds of the voyagers, imprinting cosmic truths that transcended the limitations of mortal understanding. The crew, now bearers of celestial knowledge, embraced the cosmic communion with reverence and awe. As the celestial nexus unfolded its cosmic tapestry, Mercer, the captain of the stellar voyager, spoke on behalf of the crew, we stand at the threshold of the cosmic unknown, guided by the wisdom of celestial intelligences. The anomaly is a portal to the uncharted realms of existence, and we, as cosmic voyagers, shall continue our odyssey through the cosmic continuum. The celestial nexus, a gateway to infinite possibilities, pulsed with cosmic energies, and this stellar voyager prepared to sail through the anomaly into the unexplored realms beyond. The crew, now enlightened by the cosmic revelations, embarked on a journey that transcended the boundaries of human understanding, an odyssey guided by the echoes of the celestial nexus and the infinite possibilities that awaited them in the cosmic expanse. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.